What is up guys, TFG the forest guy. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday for you Sunday. So I'm out here at Hall River State Park over here near Greensboro, North Carolina. About to go see if I can't find a trail somewhere and get on a hike today because it's been a while since I've been on a hike. So there's like supposed to be a loot trail around here. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna try to do a hike for you guys today and then uh, maybe uh, get on the bike a little bit. So come along with me guys and yeah, we're gonna see what we get into. There's the windy road that takes you into the state park. I'm literally like the only one here. <laughs> I'm the only one here guys. I'm the only one here. <laughs> oh man. Let's go see if we can find something to get into. It's been a minute. All right, so I had to put the camera like right there. It's not really sticking, but it's kind of in a secure place. Um, for some reason, the suction doesn't want to stick to the outside of the car. So I'm just going to have it right there and take you guys along for this little drive back in here in this state park. So this is one of North Carolina's central state parks. It's in the middle of the state. So when I say central, central NC, Greensboro. Um, this is kind of like going towards the mountains this is off of so to get here you take 40 if you're coming from where i'm coming from in raleigh you come out 40 all the way over to 840 and you take it all the way up and then yonceyville road and take that all the way down you'll find it but it's a little overcast today which to be honest with you isn't bad for how hot it's been i don't know for Anybody watching these videos, if you're in the southeast region of the United States, you know it has been absolutely blazing outside. It's been hot, it's been humid, but we're gonna come out here anyways because it's been a while since I've been on a hike. So I haven't been on a hike or at least done a hike since February of 2024. This is, this must be where the, yeah, this must be where the, uh, the trail is. So Hall River State Park, iron ore belt access. So let me get a picture of this. And this should be, yeah, the, uh, great blue here on loop trail. Let's get it y'all. Let's see what we can find. So this is a different type of video than what you guys are probably used to seeing on this channel. Um, this is, for anybody who's new here, this is like the stuff that I'm gonna start posting more of, more of my outdoor adventures, my hikes, and just this stuff. Cause this is, this is really what it's about, y'all. And just being out here. I mean, this is just, I mean, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. This is a very, very dense trail, which I love dense trails, so we'll see what we find out here, but I'm glad to bring you guys along with me today on this hiking adventure, so stay tuned.
So the iron ore pit trail goes that way. And I guess the, so the great blue here on loop trail, which we're gonna do, I believe. So you can go this way or you can go this way. I assume that it loops, it says it loops. So it probably goes down and goes around and probably comes back to where we are right here. So I guess anyway, I think I'm just gonna stay straight and go this way. Oh, what a nice day, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, this is a this is a kind of a perfect day to come out here. I mean, like I said, the sun isn't out. It's not too hot. It's overcast. Because boy, yesterday I went out to the uh, pump track for the first time. I got on my bike for the first time in like three years and it really felt good to be back on my bike after, you know, going through a lot of hardship, you know, the last two and a half years, just trying to get over a lot of things. And, you know, it was nice to just get back on my bike and be back on the pump track. So I don't know how much POV biking I'm gonna show you guys. I, I wanna get into it again and start doing some POV uh, BMX pump track videos for you guys, some POV mountain bike riding. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff to come. Um, I just gotta be mindful because I got a busted wrist, really. I mean, my wrist is kind of shot in my right arm. And normally I can only do so much to the point where my wrist starts feeling sore. And then once it starts feeling sore, then I have to stop because it's just, it gets too painful. That's the unfortunate part about really, you know, being an avid bike rider and love being on the bike is that, you know, when you ride a bike, especially when you're doing like BMX and downhill mountain biking and stuff, you know, riding and, you know, with you have your wrists and everything, that's the, that's the one part about biking. You got to have some good, strong wrists because there's a lot of wrist movement in biking. And unfortunately, I really only have one good wrist, <laughs> as unfortunate as that is, but, man. So peaceful out here though. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. So this right here is my, basically my tracker, basically shows you like the miles and everything that I hike. And so as you can see it, I just turned it on. So I, sometimes I forget to turn it on, but this basically what this is, is it shows you like how far you're walking, how fast you're walking basically. It's just a good way to track, you know, what you're doing and with this app, you can basically, gee, you could find anything on this app as far as trails go. Like there's so many trails and stuff like that out there. So if you haven't already and you like to hike, download All Trails. All Trails is on iOS and Google Play. So definitely check it out if you're an avid hiker like myself who likes to be out here. It definitely helps you to track how many miles you get. And like I said, sometimes I forget to like turn it on, which I need to start turning it on more. But when I go out there and I look at all my hikes I've done. I'm, I'm like, dang, you know, I should have should have done a lot more hikes on the app because I've done like 10 times more hikes than I have saved on this app. So I need to start putting them on this app I just gotta remember to do it. I always forget to do it when I come out here because when I get out here, I'm like so focused on going on the trail and, and getting out there, but I need to start doing this because this, this is a good way to track everything that you do. So right now I'm at 0.11 miles, which technically that's actually not true because I just started it. So I'm probably sitting at about two miles total I've hiked. And this trail is a 3.8 mile loop. So, yeah, I might, I might do the loop again. I don't know. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do the loop again or not, depending on what time I get back over to the car. But check this app out if you haven't already. And get out there on the trail and be adventurous. 
be adventurous because that's really what I'm all about. Be adventurous. Alrighty guys, just got back to the car. That was a pretty nice hike, not gonna lie. It's been a little while since I've been on a hike. February of this year was the last time I was on a hike. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a little short. I don't think this video is gonna be very long, but um, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. You know who it is, TFG the Forest Guy, and I'll check back with you guys later.